We got a phone call. Let's check the asparagus ID next to the banana phone. Uh-oh. It's CM Punk calling in on that banana phone. CM Punk, welcome to the Stoner Show. Because I speak for the first time. Uh, yeah, first time on the Stoner Show. Hope you're comfortable. There's all this bizarre pressure on me. Anyway, um, I'm glad you made the business decision to get your face knocked in in MMA, bruh. I agree, this is a pretty good idea. Pretty soon you're gonna be talking between two big fat lips. Which sounds weird. How the fuck are you gonna talk to Coke Cabana with your teeth knocked down your throat? Uh, I'm, I'm sure somebody would have paid me handsomely for this story. And then if anybody has any questions... Oh, I have a question, all right. How big is Batista's... Talk. Don't ask me how big Batista's dick is. But whose dick is best to suck on? Batista's dick. And I would say I talked myself into giving it the old college try. So do you still have a relationship with Batista's dick? I thought this thing that I loved that I thought I loved, uh, it just made me so miserable. Did you smack it for that? All the time. If you could sum Batista's dick up in three words or less, what would you say? The one big thing. On to another subject, what do you think of Kevin Scampoli and Hambino? And they have shit all over their shorts. I think they're just excited to hear from you. You know, and people were fucking going banana about it. I, you know, I, I and the motherfucker has... Sponsors. No, that's just shit stains that look like sponsorships. Uh, that's, you know, and that's good. Well, he had pre-existing sponsors. I know that. And like, and that was part of his deal. He was probably like, no, I'm coming over. I still have these sponsors. I signed for X amount of years. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he always just has shitty pants. Sponsors. I remember you sponsored yourself once in the ring. Uh, it just made me so miserable. And then boom. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe Kevin should start selling poo-covered t-shirts over on Gorilla Press. And nobody since has outsold John Cena in merchandise. Any idea who keeps writing things about TWFS in poo on the bathroom walls at some events? I did that. You know what I mean? Not. How come Kevin never plays the MBF game anymore? He was, he was distancing himself from such a horrible, barbaric product. Do you think this interview is better than the one you did with Cabana? Yeah, and it's the fucking coolest thing in the world, and it's going to be the hottest fucking thing. You'll see. You really think so? Yeah. Well, at KSP, we're the best at what we do. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, this may be the best interview of all time. Dude, it totally is. I can tell you're really enjoying living the Max Murder life. Yeah. A lot of people in the chat say they'd like to see you dye your hair blue. I'm giving it to them. Heffin in the chat says that Batista actually has a small penis. Fuck you. This is nothing anybody would ever say to my face in public. Why not? Because they just wouldn't have the fucking balls. Because I would punch them in the throat. You know, uh... So now I know why you punched that fan in the crowd on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, boom. You know what I mean? Okay, it's time to end the call. Do you have any final words for the chat? They eat a lot of shit. All right, that was CM Punk on the Banana Phone.